Okay, guys, so here in this um, lesson in 3B, we are going to study present simple and uh, present continuous and the difference between them in exercise number three. Okay, so let's go to the uh, grammar board. Okay, let's see. So here we have uh, some sentences in present simple and present continuous. For example, we say he reads, he needs, okay? I never get people think. Uh, this all present simple. And present continuous, we say he is looking, he is doing, I am writing, I am applying. All of these words are present continuous. And how can we know that present simple and present continuous? Because here we have, he reads, we have is or never, okay so here this is present symbol and when i have like subject verb to be and verb in g so this is what he is looking that means he is, this is present continuous okay so and we are going to know the difference between these um let's see these um tenses okay so, okay present symbol and present continuous we studied before and we know that present symbol, okay, we use it for daily routine and things we always sometimes never do. And present continuous, we know that we use it, okay, for things are happening at the moment of speaking. Now, that means he is doing sport. Now, I am writing an email. Now, okay. Uh, yes. What's new about present symbol and present continuous, okay? For present continuous, we say, for example, things are temporary and uh, happening around now, but not at the moment of speaking. What does it mean temporary? That means for short time. After that, it's stopped. So he is looking. He is looking maybe for a flat. He is looking for a new job. So you might be looking for a flat for a month, two months. After that, stop. You might be looking for um, um a new job again one month two months three months after that stop so this is temporary situation okay i am applying yes i, I am, think a short time uh, sorry let's think a short time yes it, it takes short time i'm i am applying for a job i am applying so you apply for jobs again for one week two weeks three weeks one month two months after that you will find a job at the end so this is temporary situations but it's not happening around now for example we are in in a cafe and near a man says so how's everything now so i say it's good i'm looking for a new job now but Am I looking for a new job now, or I am? Uh, am I in, in in the cafe? So I am in the cafe now, talking with Miriam. But in these days, in these weeks, I'm looking for a job. Okay. So now, for example, look here. If I say, um, I play computer games. That's PC games. Okay. I play. Uh, PC, okay, games. If I want to say he, how can I write a present symbol? He plays. Plays, okay. He plays, okay. How can I make it uh, the same sentence but ing? Please continuous. He. He's playing. Is he's playing. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay, now I want to write he likes, for example, um, he likes films. Okay, yeah. how can I write it with continuous? We say he is She's like, he's liking, liking, okay, films. So this is in present continuous, okay. So let's put them here. Hmm. So is liking correct? 
Can I say he is liking? No. I can't, but why? Because uh, uh, all time, yes. Always he like films. Mm. Okay, so yeah. some verbs, we call them state verbs. Some them, uh, verb, we call them what? State verbs. Where is state verbs? Okay, let's put it here. State verbs this is state here we say state so in the present symbol for verbs that describe states okay so we have some verbs we call them state verbs and we can't put them with ing so we put them with present symbol what are the state verbs like be want have got think okay people think he needs but how can I know, how can I know if the verb is a state or active? Because you have difference between state and active. So how can I know, guys? Any idea? State verbs, okay. So can you all see me now, guys? Yeah. Okay, so what am I doing now? Drink water. Drinking, yes, because I'm thirsty. Yeah, so I am drinking. Okay, so now what am I doing? Calling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calling, talking. talking on the phone. So, can you see the action? Yes, yeah. Can you see the activity? Yes. But when I say, for example, mm -hmm. I need to travel. Yeah. Can you see need? No. No. Action, yeah. ah, so the action that you can't see, okay, mm -hmm. we call them state verbs. Okay, all the action that doesn't need any activity, any power from you to do. So we call them, when I say I like, for example, Ahmed, I say I like Ahmed. So, do you know that I am saying the truth or if I am lying? Hmm. You don't know because everything in, in my head. So, this is, we call them state verbs, okay? So, verb to be is from state verb. Yes. Okay, guys? So, yes. again, present simple for state verbs. We can't write them with ing, so we write them with the present simple. And for daily routine or habits. And present continuous, things that are happening around now, at the moment of speaking. Now, I am playing football, I am doing sport, I am writing, I am reading. Now, I can see that you, you, you are doing it now. But when I say things for, uh, are temporary, uh, just in a short time, they are not happening now, but in these days, in these weeks, okay? Mm. Okay, let me make it smaller first. Okay, guys, so uh, as you can see here, we say, I am looking for a job. Last month, next month, now I am here, I am writing an email. Why? Because I am looking for a job. It might continue for two, three months, okay? But it will end, maybe next month stop, okay? And started last month. So looking for a job is a temporary situation, takes long, uh, short time, one, two, three months. After that, stop but writing here, now, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how do we write the present symbol? Okay, usually we have subject, then infinitive, like I play football every week, he reads the adverts every day. So, we know the subject, infinitive, if it's like uh, with subject, with our infinitive, maybe uh, after I, you, they, we, infinitive. 
he, she, it, you add S or ES or IES. Uh, negative, subject, do or doesn't, plus infinitive. I don't play football. He doesn't read the adverbs. And with a question, we say question word, do, does, subject, infinitive, where, do I, do you, do they, do we live? What does he or she or it do? Yes, no question. We say, do I, do you, do they, do we live here? The answer, yes, I do. No, I don't or we don't. Does he or she or it come? Yes, he, she, it does. No, he or she or it doesn't. With the present continuous, positive, we say, I'm looking at, I'm working at the moment. You, we, they are looking for you. He, she, it is writing for you, waiting for you. So I am, you, we, they are, he, she, it is. And the negative, I am not, you are, they are, aren't, he, she, it isn't waiting for you. Okay, so any question here, guys? No, okay. Okay, so with the question, uh, present continuous question, we say question word, okay, auxiliary subject, verb ing. Where am I going? What are we, you, they doing? Who is he, she, it looking for? So the, the question word and verb to be. After that, the subject, verb ing. A question yeah. word, auxiliary. Auxiliary, that means the verb to be. Subject and verb ing. Yes, no question. We say, am I working today? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay. And... Are we, are you, are we, are they watching TV? Yes, you are, no, you aren't. Is he, she, it waiting for you? Yes, he, it. Okay, so is he, she, it waiting for you? Yes, he, she, it is. Or no, he, she, it isn't. Present continuous. We usually use now, today, at the moment. If we have these words, you know that it's present continuous. For present symbol, we use frequency words or phrases like never, usually, sometimes, always, occasionally, normally. These are uh, present symbol signs, okay? Any question, guys? No, it's in China. Okay, let's go back to the uh, book. Okay, so in exercise number, uh, let me share, share it with you first. Okay, so here in, in exercise number 3C, look at these verbs here. Okay, so we said that we have active verb or uh, state verbs okay so activity here activity we say mm -hmm. a or state okay let's put it with different color here state we write s okay so what do you think about play okay is it state or activity activity yeah i can say you i can i can see you if you uh, are playing okay but here with uh, like, you can't like, something no, in your awesome. mind. Yes, this is something in your mind. Okay, so what about uh, work? Uh, activities. So it's activity. So let's yeah. do it here. Okay. Right. Activity. activity. Hate. State. 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 Yes, I can't see it. Uh -huh. Eat. Yeah. Eat. Activity. Activity. No. State. 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 Remember. 
to take Activity. 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 you can't see if someone remember something yeah uh -huh. State run Activities. understand state yes State. and do Activity. Activity. Believe. State. Believe is. State. State. You should do activity. Yes. Okay. And need. State. 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 Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, some some verbs can be activity can be state in the same time. Do you know any of these verbs? Mm. Some verbs can be state can be activity. Talk. Talk. Need. Sorry. Need. Need. No, not really. No. Mm. Okay, what can you see here? Think. Think. The verb think can be uh, activity, can be uh, state. Why? For example, if I say, I think you mm. are. For example, a nice person. Okay, so when I say, I think you are a nice person, do you know if I am lying or saying the truth? So this is my opinion, right guys? Yeah. This is my opinion, but you cannot, you cannot uh, make sure that I really think that or no, right? Yes. If I say, for example, you can say, um, um, thinking about the answer. Okay, when I say I'm thinking about the answer, for example, um, you told me, uh, for example, you asked me a question, then I keep like um, looking at the paper and like writing things, closing my eyes. They say, Nasser, Nasser, what are you doing? Say, uh, sorry, I'm thinking about the answer. So you can see that I am thinking or there is activity happening in my mind. Okay. So I am thinking. When it's thinking, okay, about something, so it's activity. When it's think, opinion, no, you can't say it's an activity, it's a state verb. Another one. Remember. Sorry? No. Remember. I remember something like. No, remember. No, can't happen. Another one is. Teacher miss. I, I miss you. Um, no. Miss. Miss. Yeah. Okay, how can I write it in ING? And mm. can't happen. But have when I say I have, uh, for example, three children. I have three children. Okay, have is a possessive here, right? Yeah. So right. when when have is a possessive, you can't write it with ing. Or if you can say I, huh? How can I write have with ing? I'm having what? Got lunch. I'm mm. having lunch. So what does having mean here? Means eating, right? Yeah. 
you can say I'm having lunch, I'm having my coffee now. So you are eating or drinking. So have here is active. Yeah. Ah, so again, we have some verb, state verbs, and some activity verbs, and some verbs can be both, but they give you different meaning. Yes. Okay. Any question? No. Okay. No. Yeah. Great. Let's go to the book.